Hello again. We're still working here with the formula energy equals mc delta t, and while that formula is set up very nicely for finding energies, we can also solve for masses or specific heats or temperature changes if we want to, so let's see how that works. You can tell us here 500 kilojoules of heat is used to heat a mass of water from 10 to 80 degrees. What mass of water was heated? So we're trying to find the m, and there are two ways you can set this up. You can manipulate the formula before you even touch the numbers, would be one way. If I want to solve this for m, because I'm trying to find a mass of water, I want m alone, so divide the right side by c delta t. That's legal as long as I also divide the left side by c delta t. c's cancel, delta t's cancel, and I get mass equals energy over c delta t. Then you can put numbers into this. The total energy they gave us was 500 kilojoules. Specific heat is 4.19 kilojoules per kilogram degree Celsius. Temperature change was from 10 to 80, so it's a 70 degree temperature jump. 70 degrees Celsius. And if we calculate that, 500 divided by 4.19, also divided by 70. Get that the mass is 1.704739175 kilograms. Because these numbers all had three sig digs, the 70 would also, if I had been good and written my zero there, we can give our answer as 1.70 kilograms. Quick note. For specific heat, you can work in joules and grams and degrees Celsius, but for this one, because this was in kilojoules, I opted to go for the kilo version. I wrote kilojoules there, and if you do that, you must also use kilograms down here, and that means your mass will come out in kilograms. If you don't like doing it that way, then you'd have to do 500,000 joules divided by 4.19 joules per gram degree Celsius, and still 70 degrees, that wouldn't change. And if you crunch this out, you get 1,700 grams for your answer. So that went OK. Another way you can do this, which I won't do a lot, but I'll show you just once. Starting with the original formula, energy equals mc delta t, you can immediately put in the numbers that you're given. You could say energy is 500 kilojoules equals, I don't know what the mass is, leave it as m, specific heat 4.19 kilojoules per kilogram degree Celsius, temperature change 70 degrees. And if you want to solve this for m, you could like multiply the 4.19 by 70. 293.3. So now you have 500 equals 293.3 m. Then divide both sides by 293, and astoundingly, you'll get the exact same answer. Generally, I will set them up this way, where I, I get the formula sorted before the numbers go in, but both ways do work. Use whichever you like better. So. I can just scroll that down. Next one, 5,108 joules of energy go into a 500 gram thing and heat it from 5 to 50 degrees. What is the specific heat of the metal? Starting from energy equals mc delta t. We want specific heat, so you can divide both sides by m delta t. Mass and temperature change. Specific heat is energy divided by mass and temperature change. So 5,108 joules divided by 500 grams. Also divided by from 5 to 50 is a 45 degree temperature difference. And 5,108 divided by 500, also divided by 45, gives 0 0.227 
joules per gram degree Celsius for the specific heat. And then you can go to a list of metals like the one in our data book, or if you Google it, you'll find great big lists where they give all kinds of different metals or materials and their specific heats. There's a specific heat for concrete and styrofoam and different kinds of glass and all kinds of stuff. And if you just scan one of those lists until you find 0.227, this does not guarantee that the material is tin, but it definitely has the right specific heat to be tin. And that's about the best we can do with the information they gave us. And finally, 23 kilojoules of energy is injected into 300 grams of water at 15 degrees. What would be the resulting temperature? So we want to know how much the temperature changes here. Our water starts at 15 and it's going to heat up. So what if we were solving for temperature change? If we want delta T alone, divide both sides by M and by C. Those cancel. Our temperature change will be the total energy divided by the mass and the specific heat. Now, in the other questions, they were relatively nice about units. They either gave us all kilo units or all regular units. This time, not so much. Our mass is in regular grams, our energy is in kilojoules. So I'm going to take this number, multiply it by 1,000, and say my total energy is 23,000 joules. A kilojoule is 1,000 joules. Mass is 300 grams. Specific heat, 4.19, because we're talking about water. Joules per gram degree Celsius. And if we crunch that, 23,000 divided by 300, also divided by 4.19. This is not the finished answer. 18. Why isn't that the finished answer? Delta T means the change in temperature. So what this is saying is the energy that we pumped in will heat up the water by 18 degrees. It was already at 15 degrees, so the new temp will be 15 plus 18.3, 33.3 degrees is where the water will land.